Hey guys, welcome to Saturday Spotlight. Uh, got to looking back through my other Spotlight videos and uh, noticed that uh, we've had MPC, AMT, uh, Monogram slash Ravel uh, in the Spotlight, but we have not had any Johans yet in the Spotlight, and today is that day, guys. i got a classic Johan here uh, on the turntable. Uh, what we got here is the 1971 uh, Plymouth Cuda. Uh, now, this would have been from uh, probably what would have been uh, the last run of the Johan uh, with models with the Johan name. Uh, I believe it was under the uh, Seville Industries uh, uh, umbrella, basically. They still carried the Johan name on it. Uh, and this actually started life as the uh, Sox and Martin uh, 71 Cuda from uh, back in the day. The original release was 71, according to scale mates, guys, all this information I'm getting. Uh, and then uh, it appears, according to that, that there was only two releases of this, basically, which was 71, and then uh, right there towards the end uh, of the Johan name uh, was released, and this is from 1992. Uh, and it actually was listed on the box art as a Pro Street uh, CUDA. At, but I guess when I think of a Pro Street, I think of uh, wheel tubs, you know, the body tucked down over the wheels and uh, things like that. But nonetheless, that's how they had it advertised. And also at about that same time, uh, I believe they actually had like a Rambler. Uh, I think it was uh, labeled as a Pro Street Rambler as well. Uh, just some of those old molds uh, that they had uh, still available, apparently, uh, from the er earlier original kits. Uh, so uh, I built this one probably it was 92, because uh, I think if I remember right, uh, I got this kit and uh, pretty much built it right away. Again, if memory serves me correctly, but that's been a long time ago now. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and stop this guy. And again, uh, not a whole lot probably to tell about this one. Uh, we're just going to uh, check it out. Uh, it was pretty cool uh, since really it was the only uh, options it had. I didn't, it didn't have a full interior option. It just basically had the race car options in it, so it was an easy uh, easy decision on what way we was going to go with it, and uh, this is just what we come up with. Uh, I went with that uh, as a testers, uh, and this actually may be about the same color as that uh, uh, the 64 GTO that we looked at last week. Uh, but anyway, uh, again, started life as a Sox and Martin Barracuda, and I almost ended up with one of those guys, but... Uh, they had uh, 90 bucks, 90 or 100 bucks on it, and uh, just didn't have the spare cash with me at the time, so I had to pass it up. But uh, in a sense, I do have uh, one of the old Sox and Martin kits just as a, a repop version. Uh, so just take a walk around here. I just kind of did the, the basic uh, uh, drag racing stripes there on the tires, uh, just for looks, I guess. For uh, According to, I don't believe at the time I really knew what it meant, but I thought it looked cool, so they went on there. Uh, I've got some contingencies on here on the side and now on the front on the front now this lower pan is not on here at the time I do have it guys somewhere uh, it's it's uh, in the midst of a bunch of other parts somewhere I'm sure I know I have it uh, I come across it one time I know I was going to put it up to where I know where it was at and you know how that goes uh, so I'm still going to be on a search but I do have that so basically makes this uh, kit complete. And then, uh, now, if you've seen something on here, guys, that looked uh, really far-fetched, uh, I'm sure you would be correct. Uh, I just put this on the window. Check that out. An, an ET of 920. Um, I think, you know, at, at the time, uh, I just wanted a really fast Barracuda, and uh, that's the time I wrote. But looking back, you know, realistically, uh, that's uh, you're probably looking, I would guess, um, and I, you know, I'd don't know 100%, but I would guess a 14 out of an old 426 like that would probably be a really good time. So a little far-fetched on there, but I figured it was my world. I wanted a super fast Barracuda, so that's what I put on the window. So if you notice that, uh, yeah, it is all make-believe, guys. So, uh, but anyway, uh, just moving on around the side, uh, got the, like the keystones uh, all the way around it. Uh, pretty cool there, and then the Plymouth on the back there on the on the quarter panel, kind of like the Superbirds had, and then uh, that back panel, uh, just blacked just blacked that out. Uh, didn't bother painting the white for the backup lights. Uh, just did it the way it is. And we'll take a look at the underside here. So pretty much, see, just like full race stuff, but like not a lot of detail. 
Uh, so I made it up, you know, just like uh, nothing fancy, nothing frilly. Uh, just he wanted to build it, build it to go fast. And uh, that's what he did. So I did, uh, I did weather up the slicks just a little bit. Uh, made them uh, look well worn in. You can see that in the, you maybe see it right there just a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at the engine. And that's, so there's your 426 Hemi there with a, with a high rise with the two four barrels. And I did put, uh, at the time, uh, for my skill then, I did put some, uh, linkage on it, at least simulated linkage anyway. It doesn't go anywhere from there. So, but, uh, it just kind of added, added to the looks under the hood there, I guess. But like I said, pretty simple stuff, guys, old molds and, uh, the Johan, kits uh in my opinion and i would actually like to start uh, trying to get more johan kits uh the thing is uh sometimes they're not always real friendly to the pocketbook so but uh you can find still deals on them i guess in places i did acquire the uh the dragon lady the 69 amx uh here uh, at a swap meet last year so that was cool to have that so that's another one uh in the fold uh but um uh, but just really cool, and I like the Johans because uh, they had very interesting subject material, uh, like way back in the day, and then again re-released as the USA Oldies series, uh, like you had some four-doors, four-door wagons, like the uh, 62 Olds F85 wagon, uh, seen that one too uh, at one point, and uh, I just wasn't able to come up with the cash at the time. Uh, wasn't prepared to buy anything like that at the time and uh, it just uh, escaped me too so one of these days i hope to have more joe hands in the fold uh, but this one's pretty cool guys uh, just wanted to build a nice little uh nice little drag car and uh, honestly now most of the time guys i say that uh, i would never touch something of mine from the old an old build uh to redo but i, I kind of gotta say this is one that i wouldn't mind maybe sometime uh, but all at the same time, it's pretty cool uh, having something that was done years ago. It's almost like finding a real car uh, that was done in the 70s or or whatever, you know, and it's it uh, appears just the way it did uh, back then. So that's another reason. I don't know. Uh, no, no initial plans to uh, redo this one. Uh, I may just leave it like it is and then maybe just go ahead and search for another uh, another unbuilt kit and then uh, build it. You know, maybe it's a Sox and Martin or just come up with something else. Uh, kind of cool so but anyway well that's it guys um don't have really a whole lot else to talk about this one uh, other than got the scoop on the hood there i just put a crane cams decal on there i just dug in my decal box and and found some stuff some contingencies to put on there that's got your four hood pins on that and uh i have myself a nice uh nice cuda drag car so and on top of that it is johan and i do not have the box and i wish i still had the box for this uh because it would have been uh right there at the end of uh the johan label and i don't remember if i bought that at a store i might have got that at a swap meet uh somewhere along the way i said too long ago i don't really remember uh, but i wish i still had the box but I don't, but I got the model, and that's the most important thing right there. So, uh, guys, I think that's all we've got on this one. Uh, Try not to drag it out too much longer than this. Uh, plain and simple, 1971 Plymouth Barracuda, or just Cuda, uh, by Johan. And uh, another classic, guys. A great, great old-time model company. Uh, fun to build. They go together really, uh, in my opinion, uh, very nicely. Um, not Maybe not the greatest detailed underneath uh, certain areas or whatever, but, uh, nonetheless, they built up to a great, uh, great model, nice shelf setter, and actually, uh, some good show cars. You take your time on them. So, but anyway, all right, guys, that's all I've got for this one. So, uh, until next Saturday spotlight, this is Eric from Eric's Model Garage. So you guys have a great day. God bless you and happy modeling.